Santos. You always wanted to know what's in this box. <laughs> you always want to know what's in this box. You're still young enough, I hope, to do something better with your life than what you do. You think I don't know about you and the kids? I'm just old. I'm not crazy. You have more common sense. You have than the more person. common sense than the average person. Start using the talent God gave you the right way. Start using the talents God gave you the right way. Watch over Bash. They do something great, I'm sure. Whatever you do, son. Whatever you do. Do not let this property pass from your hand. Do not let this property pass from your hands. Pass it on to the next generation. Make it multiply. And make it multiply. And make it multiply. Can I get cash back? No. The ATM machine is there. The problem is you have no money, Gambachat. What did you call me? Gambachat, you have no money. <laughs> I can buy and sell you. That is the problem with American women. You want to act like men? In my country, women know their place. You arrogant piece of garbage. You're too stupid to realize that we're the same. Come on. No. You're darker than me and you're calling me. Who? Do you think you white? You think you can come up in my hood and talk down to me? <laughs> I'm going to shoot you, son. Hands, give me your gun. Because I'm going to shoot this in Hands, give No, give me hands. Give me your gun. Oh, what are you talking about? Listen, listen, oh. listen. You're not shooting nobody in broad daylight. Right. Let's go. We can't be talking to folks like that. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna take you for everything you got. Everything you got. Let's go. Come on. Every time I think about Bonatier and the way he died, I can't go back to that bookstore. Brother Nelbert, don't you worry about it. I'll take care of this. Bo wouldn't want you to do anything stupid. thing I ever saw, from way back to the 1600s, 
how it survived after all these years. It's a mystery in itself. Tell me what it means, Noble. It means the Indians that sold Manhattan to the Ducks for so-called $25 worth of beads. They didn't even own it. This whole island belonged to us once. The name Manhattan comes from the Munsei language of the Nenananape, meaning island of the many hills. They were the western branch of the Moors, also called the Manhattos. We all owned all of this, just like the rest of this country. All of this didn't come over on slave ships, son. We was already over here way before we woke the Europeans up out of the Dark Age. That document is part of the proof. That's why the real owners can come back for it. But they got to wake up to the truth first. That's why you better get that thought. That one you ain't saying nothing about, out your head. Your uncle will rise up out of the grave if you let Levine get that land. Excuse me, miss! I got your purse back. At least I got your purse back. Let me help you with your bags. Would you like for me to get a taxi for you? Excuse me. What is it with you? Is it my outfit? Well, that's impossible. You look impeccable. Have a good day. I'm sorry. Thank you for rescuing me. Here, let me at least pay you. It's okay. My wallet's gone. He got me after all. Oh my God. I've never even been robbed before. Now what am I supposed to do? Hey, the good news is that you didn't get hurt. Now, what about if I buy you a cup of cappuccino and give you a chance to calm down? Would that be okay? Good. Let me have you at your bags. What is your name? Lisa. Lisa. And yours? Marcus. Sweet. for you to move. I'm at Casino Park on Lexington. And remember, it's still in play. Now I really should call my bank and cancel those cars. And I probably need to get a new driver's license. 
you know, I'm being perfectly honest with you. What? You don't know the building I'm just driving. Real funny. As a matter of fact, I'm driving out to the Hamptons this weekend. So I bought all this stuff. Girl's got to look good. What I'm saying, young lady, you don't have to worry about that. And you don't have to worry about those credit cards either. You know, because any charges made on those cards, you could not charge more than $50. Yeah, I'm telling you, $50. <laughs> oh, but you know what? I was really thinking about going to a movie. I love old movies. Now, this one is starring D. Cary Grant himself. Oh, he is so yeah. suave. What time does it start? What about if I tell you? Get your bags, um, I'll take care of the check. I'll get a cab. Hey, little child, little child. I know what time could be, gang. I'm still a hustle, stick up, get it. I won't chime. Up, no good, I'll read you up, yeah, gang. Fat, fat, go ahead, give me everything. Your night clothes, all your money ain't diamond ring. Yeah, I know I probably told you that I won't chime. I won't lie. I did cry. One second. Yes, mother. You've got to be kidding. That's impossible. What's wrong? Let me call you right back. Somebody charged $20,000 on one of my cards and $10,000 on another. Whoa. Even I can't spend that much that quick. <laughs> I, I don't mean to be smiling and laughing at you. I really don't. But I was just thinking, that ends your shopping spree for the Hamptons. <laughs> what are you doing? Daddy. You won't believe what happened to me. Somebody stole my purse before I can get my shopping done for the Hamptons this weekend. Yes, they've canceled my cards. But I need you to get me a line of credit at Saks right now because I'm heading there to meet my friends. Love you. Bye-bye. <laughs> you know... I really had a great time, but I have to go. I have a meeting to get to. Well, I was hoping you could come with me. Yeah, but I, I really have to go. But take my car. And I'll see you soon. Christy, get out of your leave. You're so sure about that. Will you help me with those bags? Santos, you ain't gonna believe you just tried to hit on me. Oh, crackhead Jonas just won't let it go. <laughs> now, really, Levine tried to look up my dress, then tried to holler at me like he can talk to me. Levine? Don't give me that look. Are you serious? You're serious? It's divine time, right? That yeah. was cold, man, for you not letting any of us come to see you. Well, man, you know, I'm not one for pity, right? And, you know, this was, this was something that I needed to go through by myself. But come on, man, listen, let's not bring it down. It is what it is, right? Yeah, yeah, so what's yeah, been going yeah, on with y'all? Yeah. What's been going on with you? We do what we do. Right. Some things never change. 
Beep, beep. Yo, ha, ha, yo, hands. Oh, Look what's going on, baby. How you feeling, man? All right, man. Oh, man, it's good to see you. Hey, everybody. Oh, who's that? I know that voice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Game, but damn, I thought y'all two hated each other. It's a thin line. Yeah, Look yeah. At us. And who would have thought? Listen, baby, could you uh, could you go get us something to eat while I talk to the crew? Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. Bash. What's up, bro? Go get us something to drink, man. All right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thanks, man. I appreciate that, bro. Yeah, man. You get food. All right. Let me scoot in between that. Yeah. Come on. Girl here said the fiend is um in play. Mm. Now you know me. I I want some of that. But those days for me are over. We need to do him for just thinking he could. Girl, you know he's trying to give him some of that shorty short skirt. Stop playing. <laughs> I'm going to Paul Mitchell's birthday party. It's a joke. myself that same question getting bored out of my mind so this is what you call having fun yes why are you making fun of me I like the Hamptons don't be jealous that I get to play in the sun all day and party all night guess you could call this partying quick this way <laughs> Stay. I really didn't plan to stay. It's nice out here, though. I only wanted to come and check out this feeling I was having about you. Let's go back to my villa. Must be another woman. I had fun last night. The Hamptons really not my speed. See, I'm more of a Harlem kind of guy. 
So I'm supposed to believe that Harlem was all that. Yeah. And then some. Show me. <laughs> I thought I just showed you. And it was good, but I don't mean that. Show me Harlem. You can't handle it, baby. You know why? You should spoil a rich girl. Oh, yeah? And daddy would be mad if you come to Harlem. <laughs> That he would. <laughs> no, seriously. Take me uptown with you when I get back next week. Do you? Yeah. You gotta promise me one thing. What? You would not wear those preppy clothes I saw you wearing the other week. Hmm. What would you prefer if I didn't wear any clothes at all? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> I don't mind at all. All I'm saying is that it doesn't make sense to keep doing the same stupid stuff and expecting a different result. Gambling is gambling, hey? Is that hot enough, sir? Yes, thank you. Listen, I ain't even been home for a minute. You already in the meet for five stacks. Who else do you owe? It ain't that bad, Pen. It's not that bad. No, it's not. Only you can change you. I don't need to change. I, I mean, and my luck. And my luck could change a little. <laughs> you don't get it. I mean, with the gambling and, and the titty bars. Oh, yeah, you, you didn't think I knew about that, right? Yeah, you'll be dirt ball busted again. Listen, man, you're my brother and I love you. I'll, I'll feed you, I'll clothe you, I'll even get you a roof if you need it. But in my new walk with Christ, I cannot continue to support that. He said with... <laughs> what? What's so oh. funny? <laughs> Yo, you! What's a jailhouse religion? Right. Your walk with Christ. What did Santos and the crew say? You know Santos ain't giving up a dime. And Bash, ever since he, he delivered that kid, man, it's like... He think he got a medical center up there. Now, you want to talk about education? Now, you want to talk about expensive? Hey, that was a very hey, expensive college hey, education, hey, listen, man, that came out Bash of... Bash is the only doctor that some of our folks ever get to see. It may do you some good to think about somebody other than yourself. Are you serious? Me? Everything I do, I do for us. When I win, we win. And when you lose, we all lose. Hands, times are crucial now. You understand that? The stakes are higher. It's never been about money, you know that. Remember Uncle Bo said that it's not about uh, 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 the money, but it's about who controls the jurisdiction. So, in other words, I'm down to my last resort now. I got to go ask Sony for the money. That's what you're saying? I'm going to pray for you. Yo, Pen, you know what? Pray for a second. Chasing snow bunnies? But you drink it, sweetheart. We all know his drink. Same drink since he was 12 years old. Virgin Mary on the rocks. That's the only thing that remains a virgin. Don't you tell me all the secrets. Get me a troll on the rock, my beautiful young lady. Please. Sure, sweetheart. Anything you say? Thank you. So this more to your liking? Well, at least I know you come here often. Do you like to gamble? I do a little of this. And of course I do a little of that. Oh, so now we're back to being Mr. Mysterious. No, actually, uh, I play poker and uh, roll dice occasionally, but I mainly come here for the atmosphere and, of course, the music. Gambling legal here? That all depends on who laws you're talking about. You see, lottery used to be legal when it was called running numbers. 
bootlegging? You see that look over there? That used to be the league of two. Of course, when it pertained to us, it was called moonshine or bootlegging. <laughs> so around here, baby, your reputation is all the license you have. Remind me never to ask you a simple question. Lisa, would you be okay if I leave you for one moment? I'll be right here unless some ghetto, fabulous stereotype comes and kidnaps me. Of course you will. Hurry back, handsome. Where's that fool you came with? Me. Tell that pretty girl you walked in with. I need to see him. I'm sure he'll be right back. Why do you need to see Marcus? Marcus. Well, since you all in Marcus' business, maybe you want to help him pay his debt and trade this clear channel. I'm sure we can work something out, especially when you arrive. I don't think Marcus would appreciate the way you're treating me. Excuse me. Woman, you in the wrong place with the wrong attitude. You should try to be more friendly. I should make you service me. Big man warned hands about not paying his debt. We gonna give you something to help you remember. where the big bucks are, baby. Research. Yeah. What about healthcare? I mean, I thought that's where, uh, that's where doctors made the big money. No. The insurance companies mm -hmm. are killing private practice, man. With, with the HMOs, right, and mm -hmm. the PPOs, telling the doctors what he can and what he can't do. Hell, they, they make you feel like you're working for them. When the patients, the patients, man, those are the ones who really suffer. It's ridiculous, man. So I, I look at it like this. Until everybody has access, I'm just sticking to research. Because you love it, or is it because you can make a lot of money? I love to invent things. Matter of fact, I'm working on a project right now that's designed to give something back to people who thought they lost it forever. What happened to you, you know, your two assistants? I sent them in road to an experimental drug rehab clinic out in Iowa. If it goes the way I think it will, we'll be able to bring the program to Harlem and start changing some lives for real. And Clyde, He's about to get his emergency medic certification. Clyde, the crackhead. But I'm proud of those guys. They taught me so much. You have brothers helping other brothers. They help other brothers. See, that's what I'm talking about. I'm proud of you. You stupid idiot! How many times I tell you no loitering, no drinking alcohol in front of my business? You no good who that breaks all of you! How much do you want for this place? It is not for sale. Oh, you better name your price where you can afford to. You have no money, you stupid woman. You good for nothing. Oh, okay. Y'all hear how he talked to us? And we still give him our money. He calls us stupid, ignorant lowlifes. And we still give him our money. I say shut him down. Walk an extra block to cash money and shop. Keep our money in our own community. Show him we fed up and we ain't going to take this no more. Do it now. Do it now! Oh, stop it, you stupid oh, woman! Oh, let's shut him stop down! It. Uh -oh. You good for nothing! I call the police, you go to jail! I will call the police! Not in my place! Oh, I call, call the police! Matter of fact, I'll call them myself! Please do it! 
Because I got my bail money. Yeah. Yeah. Matter of fact, keep your phone. Shut him down. 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 I saw that man stab you. It hurts. But I'm alright. He said that he would forget your debt if I would. If you would what? I can't even say it. The thought of it just disgusts me. He must really like you a lot to even think about giving a $250,000 bad debt. $250,000? My God, how did you get in that deep? He said he would finish killing me. If I didn't pay him up by Friday. Well, I believe him. Don't worry. I'll think of something. Well, how much do you have? About 10 or 15 grand. Let me call you back. Baby, who is that your new girl for me? Trying to hurt me? Hurt you? Yeah. Where did this two trying to hurt you, Hans? Sister, let me finish. Well, they was trying to kill me. That hurts. One more. All right, let it out. All right. You can breathe, so it ain't broke. I gotta get up with Santos. Ah. I gotta bar back them deeds till Friday. So I can pay these dudes off. That's the same thing you said last Friday, Hands, and look what that got you. Hands, look! What? You just don't get it! Oh! You all right now? You returned? My bad. Tell me something. How'd you get the name Hands anyway? I guess I was good with my hands. Putting stuff together. Boom. See, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Look, you ever thought about doing something worthwhile with these things, man? You build things, man. But I ain't even thinking about it, though, G. I'm a lover, not a builder. You ain't much of a fighter, son. Or, or a gambler, for that matter. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Those three of them. Ow! See what I'm saying? Stop. See what I'm saying? <laughs> you did it on purpose. <laughs> Can I leave? Go ahead, man. Just be careful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah.
Mm, you must have put it on old girl. Hmm. You know, Sonia, I do what I do. I do what I do. This must have been burning. Here, check this out. What is it? Mm. Look at it. Yeah. That's Uncle Bo's house? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and that's the crack house next door. That's L. That's our two buildings right there? Word. What happened to them? All the money left the community. That's what happened, Hans. They took, look, look. They took the building. They burned it for all the insurance money, right? And then after that... It just took it for the city to demolish. Hans, we know about your dad. Yeah, and how you got in for 75 large, I'll never understand, but we bought your dog. Hey. Does he know what he have to swear to? Listen, y'all my family and all that, I appreciate it, but y'all ain't have no rights getting into my business. We always been in your business. Just like you've always been in ours. You start construction next week. You learn the business inside out. Yeah, okay. Look, man, I'm not doing none of that, okay? And you don't tell me what to do. See, Hans, you're going to mess around and make me do something to you. We own your debt. Now, unless you have 75 grand, not tomorrow, right now. We've already talked about it. You don't have much of a choice. We're taking back the community. We're starting with this bookstore. Then we're going to Uncle Bo's house. And we already put Sonya in the store up the block. So when y'all make all these plans without telling me? That's the whole problem. You ain't never around anymore. You're always gambling. Well, today, hey, playboy, today it ends. You quit. And you come on home. Y'all done? Everybody done with the conversation? Y'all, everybody got it out? You all got it out? Huh? See, y'all corner me. You, got you know the Jazzy? You want to play? Do you really want to play? Two words. Kick rocks. All right? Keep playing. And you ain't my boss. Oh, come on. Hands. Yo, Hands. Come on, man. Come on. Now we were born in the ghetto, raised in the ghetto. But baby, that don't mean that we gotta settle. What you choose, overcome the odds you can't do. Cause you're a winner. Now our stories in court cases Been through it And when the cops came knocking Been through it And every night we pray Pray to God he hears what we say Oh, don't be no sore loser You ain't done here yet See that pretty ring you got on? Put that up You ain't never around anymore. You always gambling. Well, today it ends. And you come on home. y'all eat today? And had none to eat. What do you don't need that junk then? Give it up. All of it. Our mama ain't been home in three days. 
No, ma'am, she hasn't. That's right, ma'am. There ain't nothing in here for a hungry child. Stay right here. And don't you move. Please don't call the police. Follow me. Fresh fruits and vegetables every day in my store. Every day. <laughs> Yo! Santos! Santos! Sonia's feeding the neighborhood kids. Hands. Come on, I want to show you something. Payne showed you pictures of our past back of Harlem. You already know where we're at right now. Well, this is where I see us going. Look at this. This is right here, Sonia Whole Food Store on this end. Residential homes right here. Over here, I'm looking at Brother Noble's bookstore. Remember I told you a while back, these are nothing, son? Those two burned out buildings and that empty lot? Mm -hmm. Well, that's my crown jewel. Right here. We'll make these into condos. With suites for all of us. And also affordable homes here. It can be done. Yeah. But we all have to work together. We have enough money saved up now to be the bank ourselves. So in other words, we hold all the notes. Now, we could have used some of that money you was gambling with. Yeah, I know. But we're okay now. Only thing we need now is that we just need somebody to oversee the contract and the construction of the whole thing. But if not you, someone else. Sign me up. You've been signed up ever since we was kids. All right. There it is. Let's get started. I don't know what to do with this. Well, what I was thinking, right? Start right there. I want to put greenery all down through here. Hey, be careful there. Two of you, yeah, two of y'all need to carry that. All right. Good, 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 good. I'm glad. Do me a favor. Show these two where to store the extra machine upstairs for me, okay? So, my man. Make sure nobody goes in my office. I got a little experiment going on. Well, we gotta get it right now, all right? Hold on, hold on a second. Are you ready for me? Get it to me. All right. So I went to the architect, right? Okay. I'm gonna have him design a suite that's gonna be big enough for medical, chiropractic, and dental providers. Okay. Now, what I told him is we're gonna focus on the wellness and not the sickness, like you said. Right? Got it. All right, cool. We're going to be done with that in like two weeks. Then after that, we're going to push on to the next phase, which is going to be the Kids Recreation Center. Boom. Good? It is. Good money. Man. All right, sir. Early. Yo, come on. Y'all, I'm watching y'all. See? Y'all ain't think nobody's here watching y'all. Get back on that. The most important thing 
that I want you guys to understand is that the key to financial freedom is home ownership. Do not believe the lies that you've heard. You can still own a home for the same or if not even less than what you're paying for rent. You fill out this agreement with us in order to receive our services. What you're committing yourself to is two very simple but important things. Number one, you agree to not sell your home to anybody that is not in your family. And number two is the most critical. If you do not live here, then you cannot own here. What we want to do is we want to keep that dollar circulating in our community. Now, it doesn't matter what race you are or what religion or if you, you know, you're like me and I'm not ashamed to say it, that you have a, that you have a criminal past. If they don't want to receive you in their communities, then we're opening up ours. God believes in second chances, and so do we. Now, look, I want you guys to look to the back. This is my brother Santos. This brother has committed himself to taking you to the next level and walking you step by step through the home ownership process. Don't worry about credit because we are going to finance you. It's just another way of showing you how committed we are to making sure that you have a safe and productive community in which to raise your children. How you doing? Hey. Santos, <laughs> how's the meeting? <laughs> what is it about you, man? You like gum on my shoes. I can't get rid of you. It's a shame you're wasting all this time and money. I don't think you understand something, Levine. I don't waste time or my money. <laughs> okay, we'll get your people ready to move upstate or Long Island because I'm taking over all of it. I think you need to look around, Levine. This is my hood. It's a done deal, Santos. This is my hood, Levine. Yeah, come to my meeting. It's my hood, Levine. See for yourself, man. Don't you forget it. Sell out while you still have a chance. This is my hood. This, this whole country used to belong to the Moors. And now, we're taking it back. This time, we're including everybody. Excuse me! Hold on, bro. It's cool. Sister, what's going on? You all talk while Levine is putting people out of their homes right now. He just told me I'm three weeks behind with my rent. And now I'm on the street. He's making his rounds right now. And I know I'm not the only one. What you gonna do for me, Pinnell, with all your fancy talk? What you're saying is that you're working every day, but you, you know, you can't afford to keep a roof over your head. Yes! As one person, I, I can't do anything for you. Well, wait a minute. But thank God, as a family, we can. Sonia, it's not, I, I think we, uh, I think we just found our first tenant. The building's not finished yet, Well, in the meantime, how about we give her the condo? That is ready. I got this. <laughs> this whole initiative is about revitalizing the northern sector of Manhattan. It has too long been neglected. And I want to see it flourish again. We have commitments with major retailers, exclusive restaurants, Developers ready to custom design lofts and condominiums starting at a million each and it only goes up from there. I have a dream. What about the people who live there? We have a relocation program that will provide them with better housing than they currently have. They will have the opportunity to move upstate, the Bronx, Long Island, wherever they choose. Are we to assume that you have the proper deeds? to complete this project? All but a few insignificant projects. And that will be settled shortly as soon as we work out some minor logistics. I want to invite all of you to the groundbreaking ceremony, press included. You bring your families, we're going to celebrate. Keep the faith. Lisa, honey, those deeds that Grandpa gave you, I need you to bring them to me. I can't. What do you mean you can't? I told you, Daddy. 
They aren't worth much, so I gave them to a friend months ago. Lisa, that can't be. Why are you yelling, Daddy? How can you do this to me? I can't just ask for them back. I'm sure he doesn't even have them anymore. Lisa, I give you the world to screw me like this? I've lost everything! God damn it! Daddy? He's about to bust an artery over some worthless deeds. You know, now might be the perfect time to introduce you to Marcus. I haven't talked to him in a couple of days, but that's the coffee shop where I first met him. Call him. Maybe he's got a cute friend. The number you have dialed is no longer in service. If you feel you have reached this Not recording in error, please check the number and Try dial again. again. such a lovely day in your neighborhood? Get out of my office. Oh, man, I came by here for one reason. To help you find your deeds. I thought you were smart. You know better than your uncle. Your people had every opportunity in the world. You could have bought the whole goddamn neighborhood for a dollar apiece. But none of you had the vision, the intelligence, to know what to do with it. You're lazy, worthless, and good for nothing. And I say good is that right? For years I try to help you people. You tear up my buildings. I continue to let you stay there. You live five, six in a studio, I let it ride. He ain't never done a thing in 20 years of being. People back there living like animals. You know what? Should be locked up instead of Mike Kovac for abuse on humans. Your people are cursed. That's right. Everything you touch turns to crap. The only thing you were good for was slavery. Thank God for the penitentiary. Let me tell you something. My people lived here in peace until you brought your filth and your diseases over here. Many of you came over here as slaves to serve my people. Don't you go letting your history books fool you. You and your people can go straight to hell. And that's what I told your uncle before I had him. Before you what? What, you be? All he had to do was cooperate. Just like your daughter did. Right before she gave me your deeds. All of them. You know, the 50 grand? That was personal. But the deeds? Hey. Business as usual. You son of a bitch. Santos, I'm not just going to put you in a wheelchair. I'll have someone do you like your uncle. I'm going to do you myself. Hold up, man. Hold up. Bastard caught me using drugs. Ruined my life. And so he blackmailed me into moving his drugs for him. And then you broke into my home. I haven't slept a wink since it happened. Wondering when you were going to show up with those pictures of the briefcase. Levine used me to bring all those investors to the table. And now, my career. My family. It's all gone. was hot. You know, Levine, it was never about her. It was always about you. You know how you people always say there's always casualties in war? 
Well, I just want you to know something. I could dial 911, but you might live. And then I got to do this all over again. Thank you, Senator. <laughs> you know, a wise man told me a long time ago, it's not about money. It's about jurisdiction. See, I didn't understand that then because I wasn't awakened. But I'm awakened now. And I want to thank you. People of color have been here in America from the beginning of time. We're some of the most talented and compassionate people who ever existed on this planet. That's why you hated us. Because you wanted to be us. I guess I'll be leaving now. You won't be needing this one. some good results this first round of experiments and we're hoping if everything goes the way we think god willing we get some feeling in our back again kick this wheelchair right well, see, yeah. i kind of like it now you can't get up and bash me in the head <laughs> hey, that's baby. right that's right i'm going to the store i'll be over there to feel okay grizzly baby wait wait a minute What are you doing, Chris? Right? What are you doing? Oh, 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 that's right, Jello. But you'll be That's gonna take a lifetime, man. You know that. But uh, call me brilliant for now. Mr. Brilliant. Thank you, man. I did too. I was like, oh my god, we have to go back in the lab. You call me, you call me, you call me. Take all, take all of them. Yeah. Let me just straighten out. Let me straighten out. Once I straighten out, I'm good. Okay. All right, cool, cool. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Noble, tell Christy to come. All right? Yeah, yeah, this is good. This is good. I'm acting like I'm cool now. I'm acting like I'm cool. Once I'm, once I'm straightened out, I'm good. I'm good. Okay? We good? Okay? <laughs> hey, let me help you out. Let me help you out. Let me help you Let me help you Let me help you out. Let me help you out. Come on, let's get this. Hey, how you feeling? Hey, Clyde, how you doing? Hey. 